Welcome, my name is Adam J. Pestridge, and welcome to another Microsoft video. <laughs> Let's see how this one turns out. Um, man, my name and Microsoft Flight Simulator are just, they don't go together, do they? Like, any time I bring out a video, no matter what I say in that video, good or bad, um, it just gets slandered, and it gets hatred, and... People are going crazy. It's I don't get it. Anyway, it's I mean it is what it is. I people got opinions. That's fine. That's fair enough. I respect theirs. Um. Anyway, what's this video about? <laughs> Why are we doing this? Well, another Microsoft Flight video. Man, it's hot. <laughs> it's hot. Today is the fourteenth as of recording this, and um, the the sim is due out on the eighteenth, guys. It's coming out. You know. And there's a lot of people today who have been allowed access to being able to stream it out live. Now, I was a part of the the alpha, and um, I, I I used the alpha up until the beta. And everybody was told that if you're in the alpha, you'll be going over to the beta. That's not true. That that's that's not true. I actually got an email to state that you know. Uh, due to the high number of applicants, we cannot guarantee that everybody will be accepted in the closed beta, even if they meet the selection criteria from the alpha. That's from a server studios, guys. So not everybody in the alpha got to go on to the beta. Um, I personally thought I was on the beta because I had an update and I had to re-download and everything. Um, but I, it turns out I wasn't, wasn't on the beta. So I haven't used the beta, you know, I was led to believe I was, but I wasn't just got an email anyway um there so yeah a lot of people have been given access to stream it now finally um so a lot of people have you know there's so many people on twitch and right now um who are streaming it live right now in fact the the Serbo studios themselves have a, a an official microsoft flight simulator twitch channel and they did an interview uh yesterday i believe it was and they answered a few questions from the community that was collectively gathered. There was the guy uh, who was there from head of Microsoft Flight Simulator. There was the Asobo CEO. And then one of the developers himself as well. The 18th, the, you know, we're talking, how many days away are we talking? We're talking, today is uh, recorded this on the 14th. So, uh, you know, it's um, fast approaching the the 18th the release of microsoft i want to direct yourself first off to the very first twitch stream which i'll put a link in the description below there's also a version of this on youtube but it's heavily edited down i believe um where the developers got together they've got their own microsoft official flight sim twitch channel and the three developers uh you know on the sim were in a Q&A and they were being interviewed by a lady and there was the chat, you know, which I'm not going to mention anything about the chat, like go check that chat out, you know, it's worth seeing what people are going to be in the Microsoft Flight Simulator, you know, um, but they were, they asked, they did answer a few couple of the questions from the chat. Now there were two questions that really stood out in my mind about this sim and I, I want to talk a little bit about the sim as well um but the you know and i want to i want to put this down first guys i do not hate microsoft flight simulator there is this community presumption that i'm slandering and i'm bashing at every turn of the sim right and that's simply not true okay i actually like the sim you know when i was on the alpha there were aspects there were aspects of the sim that i enjoyed okay there was a there was quite a bit that i enjoyed and there was quite a bit I didn't enjoy, just like anything in life. You're going to enjoy things, you're not going to enjoy things. In the last video that I did, I, I told you a couple of the things that I didn't like, you know? But I also said things that I did like, and that video was a cautionary tale to the community about this sim, as in, you need to support this sim if you want it to continue. It wasn't a bashing video or anything like that, um, but it got so much hatred again. And I'm sure this one will as well, I, you know, I don't, I don't care if anybody hates on me, to be honest. Um, but first off, I want to say Microsoft Flight Simulator is a game, okay? And it was even kind of confirmed in this interview from Twitch, right? 
And there are two questions that they were asked. The link, by the way, to that Twitch video is down below. There were two videos, uh, two questions that they were asked. One was, you know, there is a massive debate going on in the community. Is this a game? Is this a simulator? Can you spec? Can you like lay down confirmation one way or another? You know, is this a game or is this a simulator? The guy who answered honestly gave the most side swiping answer. He basically tried to define what is a game and what is a simulator and that all games are simulations. Never answered the question definitively. In fact, the, the interviewer joked like, well, it's still unresolved. Guys, if this was a true hardcore simulator like P3D or X-Plane, they would have said, no, this is a true simulator. This isn't a game, guys. But the fact that they actually couldn't give a definitive answer, either the messing with the public or, you know, the fact is that it's a game and they didn't want to actually say. Anyway, the other question was about the uh, the depth, the fidelity depth of this sim. You know, like how deep does it go? Like in the planes, are they true to life? Like say PMDG, you know, 737s, 747s are. And the guy gave this answer, which, you know, he goes, we could have either gone really deep or we could have gone broad and spread out everything and not gone as deep as at current Sims. We decided to go broad. We decided to cover a lot. And then in the future, we can go a little bit deeper or we can allow other third party developers to go deeper in certain aspects. Now, that's a, OK. That's a nice answer. Um Basically, he was saying that the fidelity of the sim was minimized to allow third party support, to allow third party support, which is cool. You know, we're going to have loads of add ons that you're going to be able to purchase from the marketplace to enhance the sim. That's cool. That's well, that's just like any other sim, to be honest. Like it's not all in by default, guys, is what they're saying. You're going to need to build it up again just like any current sim um and i just found that really interesting because a lot of people have been really hardcore going no it's all in from default and you know these planes are going to be they handle way way much better well actually they don't okay they, the guy even said it in the video what they do is they interact with the weather much more better than current sims um, but they don't handle true to life. In fact, he even went on to talk about a box that they had for each plane and that every single plane falls within this box. And guys, go watch the video. I urge you to. Um, it's a really uh, eye-opening interview, okay? Um, but, you know, it, it just basically confirmed a lot of the stuff that was being said in the community. Um I'm excited for the release of this because, you know, it's, 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 but at the end of the day, guys, everybody in the community wins. We're all flight simmers. We all love flying. You know, I love flying general aviation aircraft. I love flying commercial jets. At the moment, for me personally, P3D is the best place to get that authentic commercial airliner experience. It's not Microsoft Flight Simulator, but it may be in the future. See, this is the thing that I'm excited about, guys, is the future of Microsoft Flight Simulator. I'm not excited for the launch. I haven't been sucked into the hype train of the launch like everybody else has. I'm, I'm interested to see what's happening, and we're about to go watch a few people play it. But I'm not, I haven't been sucked into the hype train, you know? I'm like, I'm happy with what I've got, and I'm interested for the future of this sim. If this sim... You know, they the, the one thing that really got me with this video, uh, the interview, was that the developer was saying that we committed to continually updating the sim with the support and help of the community. Like, we're going to take community feedback, like they did in the alpha, and we're going to apply it to the sim. So, guys, in other words, they're basically saying, this sim can be whatever we want it to be. We just need to tell them what we want, and they will put it in. And I just think that's great. Like, I've never heard a um you know a sim developer say that i've never heard lockheed martin say that i've never heard uh, laminar research say that but microsoft are saying guys what do you want in your sim tell us and we'll put it in i mean they did have a lot of they, they, they talked about this backlog of ideas that they want to put in and it's like massive backlog and it's like they're going to do that in the future but you know it's all up to us at the end of the day. So we can have whatever simulator we want, guys. And that's what I'm excited for. I'm excited for the future 
of Microsoft Flight Simulator. I'm excited for next year. So I'm happy with P3D this year. I'm going to watch some videos. I might even get it on Game Pass, but I haven't been sucked into the hype train of got to get the premium edition to get all the airports. Got to get this, got to get... Do you know what? Get the standard edition, man, and then buy your airports from the add-ons. Orbex have said that they're doing them like eight quid each. At the end of the day, I will be getting it next year. I'll either get it in March next year when the things pick up, you know, when when third-party add-ons are in there. Um, or, it, you know, if I, I have I entered a couple of competitions for kicks. If I win, I'll get it. But, um, yeah, it's, it's, I mean, there are, a f there is a couple of things for me that I, I wasn't that excited about with, um, what they've done so for instance the the navigate the, the the charts and data sets that go you know go into all these planes for the navigational data you know the only company i've ever heard of who do it and you know i'm a member of is navigraph you know um they're the only people in flight simulation that i've ever heard doing charts and navigational data for they're the, the only one in the community, you know, and Microsoft Flight Sim has always stated that it wants to, you know, sort of make up for what they've done in the past. They want to support the community, they want the community involved. But why didn't they choose the only Flight Sim, you know, company for the data of the navigational charts? Why do they choose NavBlue? Because that's a real world, um, you know, data provider. Airbus owned them. So it's like, I don't understand why they didn't choose the flight sim, the, the people. I mean, now they've got competitors, Navigraph. And I dare say, everybody on the hype train who's going to go over to Microsoft, who I don't know if you need a subscription to NavBlue or if, you, if, if it's all built in with the sim or maybe just built in with the premium version. Nothing is clear and nothing will be clear until the 18th. But it's now their competitors for Navigraph. And Navigraph must be like, oh, man, we're going to lose so much business because everyone's going to go try the Microsoft Sim. Who's going to be flying P3D? Well, I'll be flying P3D, and I'm sure people still use X-Plane and still use the chart service, still pay that subscription, but they might actually put it on hold for a while whilst they're in the Microsoft Sim. So it's like I do hope people still support Navigraph because they're the ones who have been providing the charts from day dot in the community. And, you know, if something that Microsoft Flight Simulator does just nukes a developer who has always been in the community because that they've supported somebody else man that that would be a shame and that would be a, a a reason why i'd actually turn away from microsoft flight sim because i i want them like they said to be supportive of the community and not kill the community um navigraph have said that they're going to be involved in the microsoft flight sim I don't know how if they've already got a, a data set, although I do think Navigraphs are more complete. But I, it's gonna be, I don't know how they're going to get themselves involved within the sim itself. But anyway, that, that one got me. That was like, well, why didn't you use the Flight Simulator community version? Why did you go with the, the real light? I don't know. Anyway, um, that, was, that was a bit weird. The other th weird thing was is that they stated that, you know, everybody who was in the alpha would get access to the beta. Um, they stated that the beta was being dished out early and then, like, I had an update on my alpha. So I was like, all oh, right, so it's gone into beta, okay. Um, and then it turned out, no, I hadn't. They just updated the alpha and then got an email to say, yeah, not every alpha member gets the beta now. And it's like, well, that's not what you said, in you know, to the public. So it's like, do you know what? There's been very weird communications between what they've said to the public and what they've said privately. And it's just, it doesn't, it's not transparent enough, to be honest. But, you know, I, yeah, it is what it is, guys. I'm, I'm going to play P3D now. All right, guys. Anyway, guys, if you've gotten this for it, far, thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. You know, when I get the flight sim, I will show showcase videos the control system is very different i i have not been able to get used to that control system um and i have mentioned it to them but it, you know that's me and i'm sure other people will um and it probably just takes time but there will be i will showcase it at some point obviously not you know in the near future but at some point i will um over on youtube uh, here on YouTube, sorry, um, I'm going to be continuing the world tour 
around the world. Um, over on Twitch, I'm going to be continue going through my licenses for the virtual pilot life. And in fact, I might even go and get the pilot's life from uh, Sim Pilot, or I think they're called, um, and and incorporate that on YouTube and have like a little pilot career on YouTube for smaller regional aircraft and then have my um, my virtual pilot's life for the commercial jets over on Twitch. Um, either way, I'll see you in the virtual skies, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.